Hello, crime fighters. This is Straight Talk, and I'm Ray the DA. Recently, a friend of mine told me about a conversation he overheard at the courthouse between two people. One of them said, you know, Larson really doesn't like the legislature's plan to release prisoners from prison. And the other one responded, oh, you know, Ray, he's always complaining, always complaining about criminals being released. Well, both of those people are right. I don't like the plan to release early convicted criminals from prison. And yes, I do complain about this short-sighted plan that puts our citizens' safety and security at risk. You see, under our present sentencing laws, first-time felony offenders are almost never sent to prison, especially first-time drug offenders. They're typically offered drug treatment rather than prison. It's about the 5% of the criminals that commit most of the crime. You see, these repeat and violent offenders are the ones who are sent to prison. That's where they belong. And the public is entitled to be protected from these thugs. So why am I so opposed to this wholesale release of prisoners from prison and the, and the plan to send fewer lawbreakers to prison in the first place? It's all pretty simple. What we have done is we have tried this before, and it was a miserable failure before. <clears throat> people were victimized because people who broke the law and should have been sent to prison weren't. <clears throat> Anyone who would bother to review the history of criminal justice in America would very quickly realize that not sending criminal, criminals to prison was tried in the 1960s and 70s and the results were absolutely disastrous. You see, it was during the 60s and 70s that the criminal justice policy makers really believed that it wasn't the criminal's fault they committed crime, somehow it was society's fault. As a result, the criminal justice system relied less on sending criminals to prison and more on social programs to try to treat these people they considered sick, not criminals. <clears throat> By the late 1980s, the nation's crime rate had quadrupled. The public fear of crime caused citizens to alter their lives. <clears throat> Excuse me. They were fed up with crime. They began to speak out about their fears. They demanded protection from crime and criminals. State legislatures heard the citizens and they responded. New laws requiring mandatory prison sentences were enacted all over America, including Kentucky with its persistent felony laws. And guess what? It worked. By the early 90s, the crime rate was slowed. Then it began dropping dramatically. Did you know that from 1994 to 2003, the violent crime rate dropped by 33.5%? The lessons of that history is clear. First, the public wants to be protected from crime and criminals. We all expect criminals to be punished when they violate the law. We expect our government to treat our safety and security as its top priority. Incarceration works to reduce crime. It takes those five percenters off the street. Those have chosen to release these prison inmates early these days and who have placed a price tag on the safety and security of our citizens have to bear the enormous moral burden of the injuries, deaths, and losses of those new victims who will become the victims of the criminals they have chosen to put back on our streets. I'm Ray the DA, and this is Straight Talk.